He did not hold back because that's why we don't see a move of God. I mean, because we're in tradition. We, we got a habit of doing this and doing that. But Brother Sam, whatever God wants, that's what I want. Amen. When we get past our will and we get past our own desires and our what we want, amen, we begin to say, God, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. We will see a move of God. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Luke chapter 9. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Luke chapter 9. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, it's come across my heart this morning, and for some odd reason, Brother Josh, I mean, I, I don't normally, just as soon as God speaks something to me, I never, I mean, just right then to go study on it and begin to study out a whole sermon, if you will. But this morning, I just, I said, you know what? He spoke it to me. I mean, it's on my mind, it's on my heart. I'm going to go ahead and study on it while it's fresh in my mind. I mean, and, and this is a time where I can say, I thank God I did, Brother Sam. Amen. Amen. I thank God for His Word. Amen. Ain't you glad for His Word? Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 9 and verse 23. Amen. When you have it, say amen. 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 Luke 9 and 23 reads like this. And He said to them all, Amen. Listen to that. He said to them all, If any man will come after Me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow Me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Give the Lord a hand. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If any man will come after me, amen, and he will take up his cross, will deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me, amen, his life will be preserved. Amen. Your life, you'll save your life, amen, by doing what he said. Amen. Look at somebody and say the cost of bearing the cross. The cost of bearing the cross. The cost of bearing the cross. Amen. And it's just come on my heart so strong. And I begin to say, I kind of want to do it in a kind of like three parts, three, three different sections as I'm preaching, and hopefully I can break it down and you can understand what God is trying to teach us and tell us. Amen. But that scripture says, and he said unto them all, if any man will come after me, amen. The first thing he's got to do, he's got to deny himself. Amen. And I know this probably of the three is one of the hardest things. Amen. Because denying yourself takes effort. Denying yourself takes a, a, I mean, a drive and a desire to deny everything that you got going on and deny everything that you're doing. Amen. To pack the cross, to bear the cross, deny yes. what you're doing. Amen. Deny what you think about it. Amen. And get rid of it because Titus 2 says, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, amen, that's a desire. And in our ungodly and our worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. I mean, we deny, I mean, what, what's in the world, the lust that's in the world. I mean, what it tells us was in the world, I mean, the pride of life, the lust of the eye, and the lust of the flesh. I mean, so there is something we have to deny, I mean, to bear this cross. I mean, to really, I'm talking about grab a hold of that thing, Josh, and begin to pack it, I mean, the way that God told us to pack it, I mean, to bear it like we mean it. And it's going to take us denying ourselves. Yeah. And it is, this is denying ungodly and worldly lust. Things that I mean, hinder the move of God in our yes. life. And things that hinder our strength. Because when you get in ungodliness and you get in and worldliness and things of the world. I mean, what it does is it takes away I mean, our strength. And how does it take away our strength? Well, when you begin to sin and you begin to get in worldly lust. I mean, what happens is, I mean, is you lose... Amen. Your strength because you lose joy. Amen. When you're sinning, you can't have joy. Amen. You can't have joy when you're in ungodly things and worldly things. You can't have joy. Amen. And if you don't have joy, the Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. So if you don't, amen, get rid of the worldly lust and the things and deny yourself. Amen. What did the Bible tell us, Sam? Amen. That in our heart, amen, it's not what goes in a man that defiles him. Amen. But it's what's already in us. Amen. It's what we're born with. I know some people don't like that, but it's what you're born with. Amen. We were born in sin. We were shaped in iniquity. We were, amen, conceived in sin. Amen. So in our hearts already is wickedness. In our hearts already is lasciviousness and envy and jealousy. All these things, Brother Rudy, are already inside of us. Amen. That's why we got to deny ourselves. Amen. That's why before we can even pick up the cross, I mean, everybody wants to pick up the cross and start running with it. 
Amen. 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 Nobody wants to start with set number one. Deny yourself. Yes. Amen. Deny Love. your own Amen. lust and desires. And, amen. And that's when you can begin to take up the cross. Amen. Peter said, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise governments. That's the problem. They walk, amen, after their own flesh, after their own selves. Amen. In the uncleanliness, in the uncleanness of the flesh. And what it say? They despise governments. Yeah. You know what that means? Oh. They despise correction. They despise oh, anybody that's going to tell them that they're wrong. Amen. That's why your flesh, amen, you have to stop it and put it in its tracks. You've got to deny it because what it wants to do, amen, it's not going to take heed to the government. But what did the Bible tell us? That the government, amen, will be upon his shoulders. Yes, amen. Yeah. That we would have a new government. Amen. That I'm not after the government of this world, but oh. I got to, amen, Jesus Christ is the government oh, yeah. that I'm after. Amen. They despise government. Amen. They hate him. Amen. They spit upon him. Yes. And they rejected him. Amen. They put him and allowed him to bear a cross. And they put, amen, nails in his hand. Why? Oh. Amen. Because of their own lust and their own desires. Amen. But we, amen, must deny ourselves. Amen. Right. Come on. Come on, preach. But we live where we despise government. Uh-huh. Presumptuous are they. What are they? They're self-willed. Self yeah. They're self-willed. What's that supposed to mean? Well, they don't care about nobody else. They don't care about the cross. They don't care about I mean, their own things. I mean, you don't care about what's going on in the church and what's what the move of God that's happening in the church and the singing, the preaching. I mean, you don't care about none of that because you're self-willed. I mean, you have your own desire. That's why some that come when the desire comes. I mean, what the Bible tells him is a tree of life. I mean, that's why when it, I mean, when it does come, most of the time when you feel that urge to go to church when you've laid out for a couple services, you better go because when the desire comes, it's a tree of life. I mean, it's something, amen, that'll build you. I mean, it's something that'll allow you to grow. Amen. But what happens to most of us? Amen. When that desire comes, and when that drive comes, we set on that drive. We set on that desire. And we don't deny ourselves and, and our own self willed and I mean everything that we have, we got to deny that and say, I want to bear the cross. Yeah, amen. Oh. Amen. I want to bear the cross. They, they're not afraid to speak evil of dignities. They're not even afraid. They'll tell you they don't want to bear that. I don't feel like doing it. Well, I guess what they'll say. I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like fasting. I don't feel like doing what everybody else is doing. I don't think i got to come out from among the world and be a separate people. I don't think I mean, that i got to quit touching and tasting and handling of the world. I mean, that's what they say. I mean, but that's part of denying yourself. I mean, because our flesh is deceitful. I mean, even though we have the Spirit of God, I mean, what did Galatians tell us? What did Paul write to us? He said, I mean, that the flesh lusteth against the Spirit and the Spirit against the flesh. Yes, no. I and mean, it didn't stop there. It said, these are contrary the one to the other. Yes. That means they fight against each other. I and mean, that's why Jesus said, I mean, the Spirit's willing, but the flesh is weak. I and mean, the flesh didn't want to, but the Spirit Spirit said you better go ahead. Amen. That's why I said these are contrary the one to the other. Yeah. Amen. What? That you cannot do the things that you would. Right. You wonder why you mess up and you wonder, God, what I keep doing that. Well, it's because, amen, our flesh, amen, is not under subjection. Amen. amen it's because, amen, our flesh, what we've done today, amen, that's how you'll stop that. Uh -huh. And that's how you deny yourself. Yes. That's how you say, God, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get rid of my passions and my desire, yes. amen, to find your will and get away from my will. Yes. Nevertheless, amen, if some of us will begin to start praying a Gethsemane prayer, amen, and get in that garden like Jesus did, amen, we would deny ourselves, we could take up the cross daily and follow Him. Yes. But that's why you can't do the things that you would. Uh -huh. Sometimes I do so, I'm like, Lord, why in that God's name did I do that? I'll tell you why you did it. Because the flesh, Amen. it's enemy against God. It's what fights against God. Yeah. Not that your spirit don't want to. I wonder how some people do the some things they do. Josh, you know what I found out? It's the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because it's the reason why I do some of the stuff I do. Yeah. We wonder why we get angry. It's the flesh. It's in our heart. Like I said, it comes out of our heart. Amen. What is say from the abundance of the heart? The mouth speaketh. But that's why David said, Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit with him. And we don't have to be that way. They're teaching you that. To see, now God will show me today. Some people will take that and run with it. That I cannot do the things that you would. And then God, that's the reason why I keep messing up. Or that's the reason why I keep sinning. That's not a, I'm in a place where we can see him, but that's a place to show us. I mean, the flesh is the problem. Uh -huh. Amen. This is why we got to deny ourselves and take up the cross. Because if you don't ever deny yourself, you'll never pack the cross. Amen. You can't bear that cross until you've denied yourself. Amen. I mean, that's why we got people running around acting like they're bearing crosses and acting like what most of their Christians. But the problem with it is they're not because they didn't deny themselves first. Come on, amen. 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 But when we get a, see, you don't have to be like that. You don't have to have these things in your heart. I've been crying, God wash me. Yes. God cleanse me. God make me different. Amen. I may not yes. be like the world. I may not do things like everybody else does. It. Amen. My life may be different, but God spoke to me today. I said, God, why has it got to be like that? Amen. You know what he told me? He said, son, amen, you're preserving life because you said, amen, I'll lose mine and amen, and I'll gain it. Amen. God said, son, if you'll lose your life, amen, the problem with everybody is they want to save their life. Amen. I want to keep my life. Amen. But I say, God, I want to lose my life. Amen. So that you can preserve it. So that you can change me. Amen. Make me what you want me to be. Amen. God have my life. Amen. The problem is we, we think it's our own. We think it's our own, but we got to deny ourselves. We got to deny ourselves. Come on. Hallelujah. Now we got flesh and spirit, but the flesh is still not, amen, something God wants to see. Why? He said those that are in the flesh cannot please God. Amen. So if we don't deny ourselves, we don't even please Him by picking up that crossbow. Before we've denied, we don't deny ourselves, picking up the cross is useless. Because He said deny, if any man's going to come after me, if you want me and you're going to follow me and you're going to come after me, you're going to have to deny yourself. Yeah. Let him deny himself. Let him say, you know what? My desires no longer are an option. Yep. My desires I mean, no longer mean anything to me. Now that's hard. Oh, yeah. That's hard. And it's hard every day. Amen. But you got to walk in it. Why? Because this is what God called us to be. And then Paul said, for if you live after the flesh, you're going to die. Yep. You shall die. But if you through the Spirit, amen, that's the problem. It's not through the Spirit. We try to do it in our flesh. He said, but you through the Spirit, amen, you can mortify, amen, means to kill, amen, mortify the deeds of the body and you shall do what? Live. Live. Amen. I mean, you're going to pack that thing. You're going to bear that thing. Amen. I mean, you're going to grab a hold of it. You're going to begin to run a race with patience. Amen. I mean, but it's only going to be because you denied yourself. If you if you haven't denied yourself, some of us ought to right now. Some of us ought to start saying amen I in our hearts and begin to commune with God in our hearts right now and say, God, you know what? Yes. I mean, I'm standing to awe at your word. And I believe what the man of God says. And I believe I'll try it. I'll deny myself. I'll say, you you know what? I don't care what the world says about it. I don't care what daddy says about it. I don't care what the preacher down the road said about it. I'm going to deny myself and I'm going to take up the cross. Oh yeah, but I've been packing it. Yeah, but you ought to lay it down and deny yourself first and then pick it back up. Come on! Come on! Come on! Some of us ought to get baptized again. Come on. But I ain't talking about water, Josh. You know why? Because he said he'd been baptized and then into Christ uh -huh. has done what? Put on Christ. Amen. Amen. He said, put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh. What's that mean? Deny yourself. Deny yourself. Amen. But he didn't just say, amen, make no provision for the flesh, but he also said, amen, to fulfill the lust thereof. Don't just make provision, but stop making, amen, a way. Stop making, amen, provision and making a way for our lust and our desires. Bless the Lord. So by now we should understand 
We got to deny ourselves. We got to get rid of everything that says, you know what, I don't, I don't feel like doing it today. How many times I wake up like that, Josh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on. Yeah. I don't feel like doing that today. Uh-huh. I don't feel like praying today. Come on. You ever wake up like that? Come on. That's when you got to say, you know what? Come on. I'm going to deny myself. Feel the sword. And I'm going to do it anyways. Come on. Go ahead. It ain't always your way. Help us, amen. Jesus. It ain't always your way. That's right, amen. It ain't because if it was, amen, we would all be lost right now. Amen. amen. If I did everything that I wanted to do, Brother Bo, you know where I'd be right now? I'd probably be in the ground right now. Because that's why we've got to deny ourselves. There come a time in my life where I said it don't matter what mommy and daddy does, Bo. It don't matter what pastor does. That's right. It don't matter what brother and sister does. I'm serving God for myself. Yeah. You know what happened to me one time? I mean, there was a preacher came here, and then I got up testified, and then after I got done, I mean, he got up to preach, and he almost pretty much cut me down, and it hurt my feelings, Bo. It did. Yeah. It hurt my feelings so bad that I went home, and I've been serving God not it wasn't even a year yet. But you know what? I said, if it's gonna be, if he can hurt me like that, and he can do me like that, who else is going to? And I got this self pity, and I went home that night. You know what I did? I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. And I admit it, like I'm done. That's what I said. You remember? Yeah. Amen. He was there, and he was upset because I was his brother. He was upset too. He said, "I can't understand that." Yeah. Amen. So we we kind of got this little self pity and said, "You know what? I'm done." Yeah. I mean, if he can do me wrong, who else is gonna do me wrong, Bo? But you know what? God showed me after that because that day went on, and I went to bed like that. Woke up next morning like that. Went down the road like that. But then after a little while, it hit me and said, "What in the world am I doing?" What in the world am I doing? Amen. Am I serving God for that preacher? Come on. Am I serving God for the people that go to the church? Amen. Am I serving God because I'm serving God? Amen. I realized at that moment that I was no longer serving it for man, but I was serving God for God. I was serving God because He died for me. I was serving God because He loved me. Amen. He showed me. Amen. That it wasn't. I wasn't serving Him for you. Amen. But I was serving Him. Amen. Because He called me out of darkness into His marvelous light. Amen. I would that some people would experience that and get your mind made up and say, I deny myself. That was my desire that came, Bo, that said, well, you can just go ahead and quit. Amen. But there was something that rose up here and said, no, you can't. Amen. I'd like to tell you but I, that I didn't, amen, think that, but I did, Bo. And I did. I walked out and I pretty much backslid right there. And I refused God. And turn God away. But I thank God for His mercy, Bo. And I thank God that I decided, amen, that I'm going to deny myself. That I'm going to deny myself. And I'm going to take up my cross. Amen. Does anybody feel like that you want to deny yourself? And has anybody felt like that lately? I've been doing things. I feel like I just have let God down. But you know what you need to do right at this moment is to deny yourself. And your lust and your desires. Amen. So we understand now. Deny yourself. Amen. Before anything, deny yourself. Before you pick up that cross, because it looks so tempting because everybody else is doing it. But before you do anything, Amen, deny yourself. Yeah. Say, self, this ain't the way it needs to be. Amen. This ain't the way I gotta do. I gotta do it God's way. Amen. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. No man will come to the Father except through and by me. Amen. So guess what that means? That means we've got to go this way, Sam. There is no other way. There's not but one way to heaven. There's not but one way to heaven. Amen. It's going to take you denying yourself and taking up the cross. Amen. So let's go on to the next part. Taking up that cross daily. Amen. So the Bible tells us, Amen, that Matthew amen, wrote and said, And he that taketh not his cross... And so it's good to deny yourself, but if you don't take up the cross and follow after me, He's not worthy of me. Amen. You won't stand before Him if you can do all these things, these good things that you've done. You fasted this much. You prayed this much. But if you will not take up that cross, Amen, and follow after Him, you're not worthy of Him. 
You're not worthy of Him. But Luke also said, And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Amen. You can't even be a disciple of God until you take up the cross, Preston. Until you made up in your mind. Amen. He said, Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind until you made your mind up and said, You know what? I'm going to take up that cross and I'm going to follow Him. Amen. Because if I don't, Amen, I'm not even His disciple. I'm not even worthy of Him. Amen. I know a righteousness is as filthy rags. Amen. And we can never do nothing. Amen. To compare to what Jesus done on the cross. But I can tell you what. You're not worthy. Amen. You're already not worthy. Amen. But when you choose not to pick up the cross, you become even that much more not worthy to follow after Him. Amen. You become that much more not worthy. Amen. Of what He's done. Come on. You have to. You have to take up that cross daily. Daily. Ephesians told us about the cross and that He might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross. Now what Jesus done on the cross, listen to this, what Jesus done on the cross was for a purpose. It was to what reconcile Himself back to us. But now, He said there, He said He did it by one cross. I mean, you know what that tells me? If, God, if you want to be reconciled to God, you got to pick up a cross and you got to begin to follow Him. Yeah. you got to take up that cross. Amen. What cross? The same cross that reconciled Him to the world. Amen. He was recon He was God. Amen. Making Himself man. Reconciling Himself back to the world. And the only way that the world can get to God is when they take up the cross. Amen. He come to make a new and a living way. But the only way, amen, is if you'll come after Him. Amen. Is if you'll deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow Him. Amen. Amen. So the only way to be reconciled to Him, the only way to get back, if you want reconciled, you've got to take up your cross. Amen. If you want brought close, He said, draw nigh unto me, and I'll draw a nigh to you. If you want to draw nigh to God, you have to, be, amen, take up the cross. Amen. Amen. Now, this is one of my favorite. That God showed me and said, if you want to see the greatest example, it's Jesus. He bare the cross. He took the shame. I mean, for what it says, he said, looking unto Jesus. Yeah. He even showed us, said, you know what? If you want a good example of what to do and how to do it, he said, look unto Jesus. Yes. The author and the finisher of your faith. Yes. I mean, for what? For the joy that was set before him. Uh huh. What was set before him? The cross that was set before him. The battle, the struggle. That's right. Amen. That was set before him. This ain't no bed of roses. This ain't no piece of cake. Amen. That's why it's amen. It's called you gotta endure as a amen a good soldier. That's why he said, He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. Because it's gonna take you, amen. There's some rough patches, Preston. Amen. You don't just get amen through it by the easy way. Amen. It's a battle, it's a struggle. But the joy that was set before him, amen, he delighted both to pick up that cross and to do what He done for us. Amen. And why did He do it? Amen. That we could have life. Amen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever amen, believeth in Him should not perish. He did it so you didn't have to perish. Amen. God is not willing that any would perish but that all would come to repentance. And if you'll have it, if everybody Amen. He said that. Amen. If you're going to come after Him, you got to to deny yourself. Yes. You've got to take up the cross and follow Him. Amen. 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 So there, he, it was set before Him. The joy was. And to do what? It was set before Him. He endured the cross. Despising the shame. Uh -huh. They stripped Him of His garment. You know that? Yeah. They put a crown of thorns upon his head. They put a robe, they stripped him of his garment, put that robe, I mean, a, I mean, a scarlet on him. You know what happened? I mean, they took a reed, bullet bone, and they began to smack him on the head and said, Hell, King of the Jews. Amen. You know what? They mocked him. I mean, they spit upon him. They, I mean, they shamed him. But he despised the shame. He said, It's all right. It's all right. I'm denying myself. Josh, I'm denying myself. I'm taking up that cross. I'm taking up that cross. Yes. I'm taking up that cross. I mean, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I'm going to get some splinters. 
Yeah, it's going to rub my back a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be heavy. It ain't going to be easy. Amen. But why? Amen. I endured it. Amen. He endured the cross, despising the shame. And is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. When you, amen, pack that cross, you find power. Amen. When Jesus packed that cross, he felt the power. Amen. Why? When you pack the cross, amen, you find the power. Amen. When you pack the cross and you despise the shame and you endure the cross, amen, don't you understand that one day, amen, one day we will sit down yes. and in the throne with Him. Amen. 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 That's the Word. Thank you, Jesus. Got to take up that cross daily. Amen. It ain't going to be easy. Uh -uh. He never said it would be easy, Blake. He never said it would be easy. But he's, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yes, it is. Amen. And following Him. Amen. The next thing is to follow Him. It's good that you denied yourself. It is. It's good that you took up your cross and you follow and you began to follow Him. Amen. But the Bible tells us. Amen. One came to Jesus, and what they what he say? He said, "Lord, I want to follow you." But let me go bury my father first. Jesus looked at him, Josh, and said, let the dead bury the dead. There's nothing can stop you from following him. There, don't let other people stop you from following him. Don't let other things hinder you from following him. Amen. Let the dead bury the dead. And if they want to die, let them go ahead and die and you go on. If they're trying to pull you down, you don't, I mean, you don't hold on to them. Amen. Let them go. Amen. In your life, and you go ahead and pack the cross and follow him. Amen. That's what we must do. Amen. Sometimes some people don't want to go, Blake. Amen. Some people don't want to make it. Right. Amen. If they don't want to, you guys got to let it, let them go. Amen. And pack the cross and follow him. Amen. And that's what he told that one. Well, amen. And he said, he said unto them, follow me and I will make you. This is when he's talking to Peter and him. He said, and he said unto them, follow me and I will make you fixtures of men. So when they heard that, what they do? They straightway left their nets and followed him. Amen, no matter what you're doing, drop that thing and follow Him. Amen, no matter what you feel about it, say, you know what? Yeah, it, 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 we're having a good time. Amen, it's good, but drop that thing and follow Him. Oh. They drop, they left their nets. Amen, think about this. They left their nets. That's how they made a living. Come on. That's right. They left their boats. Yep. They left everything, Blake. I mean, they were radical. Come on. They were crazy. But they followed him. Yes. But they followed him. Yeah. Some of us, if God told us, they said, son, I want you to quit your job. You know what some of us would do? Lord, God, I can't do that. How am I going to make a living? How am I going to make it? Amen. Depend on God. Amen. Take up your cross. Follow him. Yes. Leave everything else. Press and say everything else don't matter. Leave the net. Leave the boat. Amen. Leave everything that you got there. Amen. Whatever's in the boat. Whoever's in the boat. He come to James and John. And they left their daddy in the boat. Amen. They left Zebedee sitting right there in the boat. Why? Amen. Because Jesus said, follow me. That's right. Come on, preacher. They left everything. Preacher. You know what I'm about following him? And great multitudes followed him. You know what he done? He healed them. He healed them. Yes. yes. When you take up that cross, you deny yourself, you take up the cross, and you follow him, Preston, you know what he does? He heals you. He said he sent his word to heal us. Amen. I mean, he done it just so he could heal us. Amen. I mean, he came in the flesh just so he could heal us. Just so he could make us free. Just so he could make the new and the living way. Yeah. And then if we sit back, amen, I mean, act like God never did do anything. Amen. I mean, but it's time, amen, I mean, that the church denies herself. Amen. I mean, they take up the cross yes. and they follow him yeah. daily. Come on. Daily. Daily. Amen. Wow. Then there's Peter, once again. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. I always found this strange. Because Jesus said, No man hath ever left everything, basically. But I looked at Peter and his life, Bo, and I said, Lord, have mercy. How big is it? How deep is it? Because 
They left everything they had sitting there. He left his wife sitting there. Did you know that? Oh, Peter didn't have a wife. Yeah, he did. Because Jesus came in and healed his mother-in-law. I mean, Jesus, and he, Peter had a wife. He left his wife sitting there to go with the boys. Come on. I bet she was mad. <laughs> he did. Why? Jesus said, I'll make you fishers of men. Amen. I don't know what drawed him, Josh. But I got to think whatever Jesus said to him when he stood there that day and said, Never, Nevertheless, at thy word, let down the nets. Peter seen something in Jesus when he was talking to him. Because he fell down on his knees and said, Lord, I'm a sinful man. Yep. Then he said, Just follow me. I'll make you fishers of men. And he left his wife. And he left his mother-in-law. And he left, probably left maybe his mommy and daddy. He left his ship. He left his boat. And he left everything. He left his nets there, Blake. I mean, he left everything. <laughs> left everything. And here's Peter saying, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? What's it going to matter if we do all this? And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah. Jesus. What's everybody's goals in here? Doesn't everybody want to make it? Amen. Don't want you ask you ask everybody in here probably. They're going to say, I'd like to make heaven my home. Yep. I'd like to make heaven my home. Amen. And if you want to make heaven your home, you know what you have to do. He said to get life everlasting, forsake everything. How? Deny yourself. Take up the cross daily and follow Him. Following Him is not always easy. You know what John told us? He said, I want you to walk even as Jesus walked. That's what he said. Walk even as Jesus walked. And then do the things he said, the works that I do, that you can do greater. Amen. You can do greater. And then Jesus wants us, amen, to take up our cross just like he did. Amen. And go about it. Amen. Do it daily. Uh -huh. Amen. Don't just do it at once. He said, take up the cross daily and follow him. And I believe it. I believe if the church will deny themselves, they'll deny the lusts and the desires of the flesh, and will take up our cross daily. Every day. Amen. And follow Him. I believe we'll see a difference, Josh. Amen. I believe we'll see a difference. I believe we'll see God move in our services yes. like we want Him to. Yeah. Don't you ever come to services like, God, I wish you'd move. I wish you'd move. God, our service just wasn't that good. I wonder why. Amen. Come on. Could it be us? Amen. So you know what we do? We blame God. Amen. We blame God and we say it's God's fault, Bo. Yep. But it's not God's fault. You know what it told us in, in Psalms? It said they limited the Holy One of Israel. You limited God. I mean, you stopped God. You kept Him from only doing so much. Amen. Not that He didn't have all power because He said all power was given Him both in heaven and earth. So it wasn't the power. Not that God ain't going to have power to heal her. Not that God ain't going to have power to save him, Bo. But it's us. We limit Him. We stop Him. We, I mean, we put a wall there where He can't move. I mean, we want God to move in our services, but until we deny ourselves, until we take up our cross daily and follow Him, we might as well forget about seeing a move of God. We, we want to talk about the, the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s and it seems like it got to the 2000s, oh, and then it just shut down. It didn't have to shut down. No, it did. It was the people. Amen. It's the people. It's us we quit denying ourselves. Amen. We started, I mean, appreciating ourselves and uplifting ourselves and making ourselves feel good. Give ourselves titles and give ourselves names and built bigger churches and bigger places and, and, and got more stuff at the house. And God, I mean, this is what we began to do. And then we, we lost our desire for God. We lost our desire for God. Amen. I how many wants to deny themselves and take up the cross daily and follow Him? Let's all stand our feet right now. Amen. I just want everybody, you know, sometimes I feel like, man, I do this a lot. But I just want everybody to just begin to tell God, amen, they want to deny themselves. I mean, if you say you feel, don't lie to them. Amen. But if you feel the way that I preach, Josh, amen, tell God about it. Say, God, I want to, let's pray right now. Amen. Let's tell God, 
I want to deny myself. God, I want to take up the cross daily. God, I want to follow you no matter what, amen, the cost is. I know it costs a lot. I know it's a lot of pain. I know there may be blood involved. I know there may be sweat involved. But I want to take up my cross daily. And I want to follow you, Lord, no matter what it takes. Amen, no matter who it upsets. Amen, no matter who it makes mad. God, I want to make, amen, heaven my home. God, I want to inherit, amen, life everlasting. God, I want to please you. Lord, help me, Jesus. Lord, God, I want to take up my call. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I believe that. Josh, God showed me that. If you don't pray in Jesus' name, you wasted your time. You wasted your time. He said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. He said, whatsoever you do in word and deed, He said, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Giving glory to God, yeah. the Father, by Him. Yeah. How? By doing everything we do in His name. Amen. He said, if we do it, amen, in His, for His name's sake, forsake everything for His name's sake, amen, we would inherit everlasting life. Yes. Amen. I believe it. Amen. Do you believe it? Yeah. Amen. Let's make it the Lord a hand. Amen. Give the Lord a hand.